Hey everybody, Brian Garcia, Meteorologist, National Weather Service, San Francisco Bay Area, Monterey Bay regions here for the mid-November seasonal briefing update. We're going to rip through a couple slides. If you want the full meal deal, go back and look at last month so you can look at all the uh, El Ninos, why it happens, uh, historical stuff, all that. This is just pure winter update, so let's get moving. So we're gonna skip all these, go to the last video if you want it, but we will talk about drought in the winter. So drought monitor that came out this last Thursday, Thursday, November 16th. You can see here the state remains in uh, drought free status according to uh, the US drought monitor. And remember, this is agriculture and meteorological drought. It doesn't have anything to do with drought designations within the state itself. So that's ultimately up to the governor and the officials of any given county. Out there on the right, you can see we were in dr deep drought uh, a year ago, so we've improved a lot. The outlook, the U.S. seasonal drought outlook, again, this was released uh, this last Thursday, November 16th. So this runs from mid-November right on through the end of February. And you can see here that the state of California is just blank. And if you look down at the legend, bottom right, no drought. So a little bit of a uh, uh, fore foretelling here. So looking at the outlook, we're going to look at the monthly outlook here really quick for December. And on the left, you're going to see the temperature outlook. On the right, you're going to see the precipitation outlook for all of these. You can see the temperature outlook there, equal chances, meaning there's nothing that's swaying the Climate Prediction Center either way of being above or below. Um, it's going with equal chances. Same with precipitation, equal chances. There's just no strong signal there. Now we're going to go into the seasonal outlook. So we'll see December, January, February here. And on the left there, there is a higher probability of being above normal for temperature for our service area, the Bay Area and the Central Coast region. And over there on the right, you can see the seasonal precipitation outlook, December, January, February. There is a higher probability of being above normal for precipitation for that time frame. Going into January, February, March, temperature remains the same, higher probability of being above normal. The precipitation also it stays as a higher probability of being above normal for precipitation, but look, it's shifted south just a little. If we go back and map, you can see it's really spread throughout the state, even up into Oregon. And we step forward into January, February, March, and you can see it slides south a little bit. So that's an interesting sign right there in my book because it says that the uh, maybe the precipitation, the moisture plumes are going to be coming with that Pacific jet out of the south. Uh, so we'll have to watch that. Going into February, March, April, goes back to equal chances for precipitation, remains slightly uh, a higher probability of being above normal for temperature, depending upon where you're at in the Bay Area, of course. But really the kind of equal chances for precipitation uh, makes me kind of scratch my head and uh, stroke my chin because, well, if we go back to the last two, we're above, above, uh, it's kind of thinning out there and then equal chances. So that tells me that it looks like a January, February type scenario for the uh, higher probability of being above normal for precipitation. Then rounding this out, March, April, May, you can see really same as same in the seasonal temperature outlook uh, there on the left as the previous three month stretch and precipitation outlook back to equal chances. At this point anyway, our precipitation chances are going down as we get into spring and go into summer. Just really quick, wanted to highlight this. These are the 2023 billion dollar weather disasters, weather and climate disasters so far. This is just through October 2023. So we still have November, December to get through. So we'll see what uh, types of weather and climate disasters we might have the remainder of the year. But these are 25 separate billion dollar weather and climate disasters for this year so far which um, eclipses, I, I think, every year previous that the state has been kept. So we are seeing some major, major disasters in our country this year. Uh, with that, remember, be prepared for anything. You got to be prepared for those major systems and you'll be prepared for all of them because all it takes is one to pretty much change our lives. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be good to one another. See everybody. Bye.